Lisa Briggs <laughs> from the Bruce Company is here taking your plant and garden questions. 270-608-270-9933. We're just talking about all the glitter. I'm sharing on the glitter. This is a live poinsettia. This is, yes, this is a live poinsettia, and it is glitter. dyed and glittered. So we call these fantasy poin poinsettias. They don't, this is not their natural color, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> nothing not says, a new variety. Nothing says Christmas like a glittery painted poinsettia. You know what? It's not for everybody. Some people really love them. Some people hey, Leland, really I just walked through, loved it. And yeah, so there you go. There you go. All right, let's get to the calls. <laughs> Doug from Stoughton, go ahead, Doug. Yes, I've got a, a, a dwarf lilac bush and I trimmed it, uh, some little pieces off of it and I put them in water to see if I could get them to root so I could have uh, more trees. And it's been about two months and I'm not getting any room any roots do they root you can get cuttings off of most woody plants but the trick is when you're taking the cuttings some things like to be cut on old wood some things you need to cut um, wood that is new I suspect that might be the issue I'm not sure I'm not a propagator so I don't know all the different nuances of what to cut when but if you go online and you want to say you want to take cuttings of a lilac it'll tell you when the best time to do that I'd also get some rooting hormone that will help move it along as well okay let's go to Lynn in Madison hi Lynn what's your question well thank you for taking my call um, the voles are raising heck with my lawn and I've tried you know, a couple of products, Voltex and, and some of those, and there it seems like they're worse than than they were before. Is there anything that any product that a person can use to get rid of the voles? I I don't need to capture and rehabilitate them. I just need them gone. <laughs> There are a number of products on the market, Lynn. I would say come on into the garden center and bring some pictures of the kind of damage that they're doing and Gail or Brenda will go over it with you and show you all of the options. Okay, I'll do that. Okay. Thank you so much. You're welcome. And check out the Christmas trees while you're there. You might as well. And the fantasy poinsettias. <laughs> Pam in Sauk City. Hi, Pam. Hi, thank you for taking my call. You're welcome. Um, I have a question regarding a tropical hibiscus. I have several of them. Um, I brought it in because I love the plant and I want to keep it over the winter, but I anticipated that it would go dormant, but it's still very green and the last of the flowers just dropped off maybe three weeks ago. Yeah, they, um, won't, they won't go completely dormant, Pam. What they'll do is the growth will slow way down, and if you have it in a place where it's not happy with the light, it will get kind of stretchy. The growth will, you know, get kind of leggy looking. So just put it in a really, really sunny window. Let the top inch dry out between waterings. It doesn't need any fertilizer now. And then you can start using a bloom booster, I would say around mid-March, and then you can move it back outside when the weather's nice. But it will not go dormant. Like some things that you bring in will do that. You can keep the hibiscus going all winter long. Okay. All right, thanks for the call. Let's go to Herman in Darlington. Hi, Herman. Yes. What's your question? Uh, this is Herman. What's your question, Herman? Oh, I, uh, I was on hold. You're on the air. Go ahead. Hi. Hi. Thanks for taking my call. I'm, I'm trying to find out when is the best time to trans, transplant. Okay. So Yes. Yeah, so okay, this is Herman. I am trying to find out is the best time to transplant snowball bushes. Okay, so snowball bushes are a common name for a couple of different shrubs. One of them is uh, the Annabelle hydrangeas, which are low growing, great big flowers. And then there's also a viburnum that can be called snowball bush. Best time to do transplanting if they're in the ground now is to wait until spring when you can get your shovel in the ground, but it's not sopping wet. All right, not now. Not now. All right. Not now. We're out of time, if you're on the line, stay there. Lisa will talk to you off the air. Mm -hmm. We'll see you in a couple weeks. Yes. All right.